Welcome to Terry's Kitchen where we talk food, faith, and family. Today we are on a different location. We're out at uh, my Uncle Vic and Aunt Debbie's house, farm and we are going to be canning tomato juice. So as you can see, the back of the, the trunk, these are our tomatoes that our friend Debbie and Richard uh, gave to us. So we're going to be doing some tomato juice. And But before we get started, I um, want to read the, well, we're going to listen to Psalm 23, which was actually in our devotions this morning. December 3rd, let go. Don't you realize that you become the slave of whatever you choose to obey? Romans 6.16 It can be painful to give up what you've become attached to, and even more excruciating when your desire is not sinful, but God requires you to let go of it for His reasons. But understand, the aim of the Holy Spirit is to help you abandon yourself to Christ in every area of your life. Only then can his power flow unhindered through you into the lives of others. So consider, is there anything that you don't want to give Jesus access to? Is there anything you're unwilling to leave behind for his sake? Remember, to follow Christ requires that you release everything to his care. What he allows you to keep will be for your good and his glory. But all else must go if his power is to flow through you. So today, pray until you're willing to say, Everything I am and all that I have are yours, Lord Jesus. Because that, friend, is true freedom. Lord, I give myself to you wholeheartedly. Reveal any area that I've reserved for myself and help me let go. Amen. So it was not actually the Psalm 23, but that's, we had, that's the, the scripture we read out of the Bible was Psalm 23, and then we went into um, that devotion. So it's just very fitting for today. Thank you, Lord, for your guidance upon this day as we are out here in this beautiful morning getting ready to can and process tomato juice. Lord, I thank you, Father, for this time and uh, the fellowship and the memories that we are making today with Uncle Vic and Aunt Debbie and Mom and Ron and I. We thank you, Lord, for this day and all your blessings on all those that are watching today. And we ask this in your precious name. Amen. Thank you for letting me do that. And so we're going to go uh, get started cleaning some tomatoes, and then we'll show you along the way our processes were canning. All right, we are back. This kitchen is buzzing out here on this farm. We have, thanks to Aunt Debbie's help, she has juiced. Um, it's going to actually be two more pots. I've already canned this first pot and working on the second batch. Had Mom in cutting the, the cores, cutting them in half. Uncle Vic's been our runner. Ron's been here. We had to do a little bit of rerouting. We were initially going to be outside cooking, so we had to change gears, and that's all good. It's how a kitchen works. That's real life. So I'm it's gonna... called fluid. Yes, yes. So what I have is I have my tomato juice that has been boiling, added salt and pepper to taste, and we're actually uh, put some celery seed. Um, had that growing up, so we've included that in. So right now what I'm doing is I am putting the juice in um, the quart jars, and as you can tell, I've, I've already done eight. So very proud of this effort of this community that came together so that we could have tomato juice. So let me get started canning a couple more. And it is hot. And I, I was the taste tester, had Aunt Debbie checking too. Mom, she wanted to make sure that we didn't get too much salt or too much pepper, but she wasn't here to taste. So, so hopefully we've got the right uh, measurement, I mean as far as the, uh, saltiness or pepper. 
but if not, it's okay when we open that jar this winter. Put it in some soup or chili. It's all good. Welcome to real life. So Aunt Diane has joined us too. She had uh, came and to visit and, and our friend Teddy. So we just have a whole crew here today. And, um, and that's community. That's family. That's memories. When you can do this together and um, it, it's just wonderful. And you know how I like memories, family, and community. So, so I have my lids. And Aunt Debbie had this handy dandy metal piece that brings your lid out, and I just feel like I'm in heaven. So um, I'm gonna close this, close this, and then we're gonna tighten it up. They told me the other day that I shouldn't uh, tighten. I tighten my beats too much. So, so I, I listen to them. So we're gonna do maybe one or two more, and show you, and then um, we'll kind of. We're going to keep cooking and, and canning. We, like I said, we're going to have another two pots to be able to, to can today of tomato juice. So it has been a very successful day. And the winter pantry is looking good. Looking very good. So we've gone through, I run, uh, we started out our video with that uh, picture of how many tomatoes we did. So. We'll put you uh, put it at the end or show you a picture of how many we were, we were actually able to can. Ooh, she's hot. All right, cleaning my top. Get off anything. And my handy dandy lid. Oh, that is I can't tell you. I wish I was the one that invented that. Um, but okay. All right. And we got the phone uh, um, uh, ringing here. So that is our canning today. I want to thank Aunt Debbie and Uncle Vic for letting us come on the farm and doing the canning here, using her squeezo um, to get um, our juice ready to go. I want to thank Mom and Ron, and it's great seeing Aunt Diane and Teddy. So thank you for liking our videos or sharing our videos. We do love doing them. If you subscribe, we would appreciate it. And blessings.